Whether you've chosen to migrate your data now or wait until a later date, you can still proceed with implementing Service Cloud. So let's get started and add some users. You don't need to add all of your users at once to continue your implementation or even allow them access yet, but we can certainly dive into what adding a user or multiple users looks like in Service Cloud. From your Service Console, go to the top right and click the large gear icon, then click Service Setup. In our Quick Find box, we'll want to type Users and then click on Users. Then click the New User button. Here we want to fill out the user's details such as first name and last name. This will auto-generate their alias. Then we want to add the user's email address. And this will auto-generate their username and their nickname. Over on the right hand side we want to choose the user's license and profile. A user license determines which profiles are available for the user. A profile specifies the user's minimum permissions and access settings. Let's make this user a support agent. We also want to check Service Cloud user so that we can make the Lightning Console available to them. If we scroll down, we see here that we can generate a new password and notify the user immediately. So let's uncheck this as we don't want to give our users access straight away. Then click Save. Great, we've added our first user to our Service Cloud org. Let's click back to Users and click the Add Multiple Users button. Here, we can give them all the Salesforce license at once and fill out each of their details one by one. We also have the option to not generate a password straight away or notify them so that we don't have to allow them access while we're setting up. That's it. That's how we add a user or multiple users to Service Cloud. Next, we're going to look at adding queues, which are the equivalent of groups in Desk.